What's up everybody? It's your girl Tyra and I'm coming back at you again with another video and on my channel today I am doing my first story time. You guys, I'm so excited to tell you guys this story. This has been two years almost in the making. So lately I've been very consistent on my YouTube channel, but then you just saw kind of like a drop off. And if you follow me on YouTube, but you don't follow me on Instagram, then you really don't know uh, anything about what I'm about to tell you. So a little bit of backstory. I am an actress. That's the reason I moved out here to LA. Everything else that I do is just to make ends meet and to get me from point A to point B while I am pursuing my dream as an actress. So. With that being said, I just want to show you guys a clip. I want to see if you can notice anything familiar. Maybelle, we are going to that party. Let's go. Uh -uh. We gonna break our necks. Oh no, I'm not dying until I get my first kiss. Come on. But I. I oh. Oh. I am happy to finally announce that your girl is on. Netflix. You guys, I am just elated. I'm so excited to be a part of such an amazing crew. It was my first time being on TV like that. Like it's my first time being on Netflix. It's my first time being on a sitcom. It's my first time having a real role. So if you have not seen the show, I play young Amelia in the Netflix original sitcom family show called Family Reunion. If you watch the show, I play young Loretta Devine, which is the main character of the show, she plays Madeer, and I play the younger version of her in her flashbacks. Now in the first season, I only had one episode, but that was honestly good enough for me. And last year, we found out that we were getting renewed for season two. I moved out here in February of 2018. And when I first got out here, I didn't have any credits. I was just an actress. I've been acting, especially for stage. I went to school for theater, so I've been doing stage acting since I was in the fourth grade. I did my first play in the fourth grade. So I've always known that I wanted to be an actress. And when I moved out to LA, I didn't have an agent. I didn't know much about TV and film. I literally just knew about stage. And if you know anything about acting, TV and film and stage are two totally different worlds. So I started to take classes and the first class that I took was a commercial class. I had heard that it was easier to get into commercials. So I was like, you know what? Let's take a commercial class. So I went to Mike Pointer's Hey, I Saw Your Commercial class. And the good thing about his class is that you could build. We had level one, then we had level two, and there was also a level three at the time I was going. In addition to his classes, he also had showcases. So I went to a showcase and that's how I got my agent. If you guys would like to know more about how I got my agent, I actually do have a video and it is right here. Feel free to click out of this one and go watch that one and come back or watch this one to the end and then go watch my How I Got My Agent video. So once I got my agent, I literally went on an audition the next week. So the first audition I had was for a commercial and it was filming in Vancouver. And when I was on my way to my first audition for the commercial, I got a notice for the family reunion audition. I was like, okay, cool. I got two auditions. This is great. I'm gonna just make sure that I'm doing my best. I'm excited at this point. Family reunion was my second audition. At the time, I didn't know how important this audition was. So I was just doing my thing, my regular thing. I was like, okay, let me prepare for my role. Let me make sure I know my character. And I only had like three lines. The clip that I showed you, that was my audition. And I only had three lines. So I go to my commercial audition, rock it, and then I prep for my family reunion audition and it was the next day. I don't have a car at this point, so I ride the bus to the audition. I memorized my lines, I only had three, so it really wasn't that hard. And I go into the audition and I rock it. And, <laughs> or at least I think I rock it. So I read the lines only one time. He was like, okay, great. I was like, <laughs> I don't get to read it again. He was like, no, I think you did great. So after my first audition with Family Reunion, I was like, okay, well, let's just forget about it. Let's keep on going, keep on going because you can't stay in that space every single audition because if you do, you'll make yourself sick. So I was like, okay, next audition, let's go, let's go. Keep doing your thing. So I got a call 
for a callback for the commercial audition I had. And I was like, yes, my mic pointer classes are paying off. And I was like, okay, let me go to this callback and let me rock it as well. So by the time I finished my callback for the commercial, I remember it like it was yesterday, y'all. It was raining and it was just so hard to get an Uber that day. It was, it was a very, very bad time to not have a car. And I was just so upset, but I got home and I got the call that I got a callback for the family reunion audition. So. Commercial audition, first audition, and callback, done. Family reunion, first audition, done. Callback is tomorrow. So I was like, okay, God, like you, like you move it quick. So I prepped for my callback and it was the same, the same set of lines once again. I didn't have a car, so I took the bus. So I was on my way to my callback for family reunion. I was on the phone with my grandma and I was like, Momo, I'm so excited. I got two callbacks for a commercial and for a show. At the time, I still didn't know it was for Netflix. And she was like, well, I'm praying that you get both. And I was like, yeah, I really hope I get both and all this kind of stuff. So we're talking, talking, talking. While I'm on the phone with my grandma, I get a call from my agent. I booked the Vancouver commercial. I'm on the bus and I'm screaming. I'm like, oh my God, I booked the commercial. I'm so excited. And I tell my grandma. And one thing that actors really love is when you book something and then you have a callback because you, you're just filled with that energy of, I booked it like I got this so that's what I'm filled with I go to my callback and I'm on Paramount Studios and my callback is literally at like 11 in the morning I get in there I sit and we wait I literally sit there for my callback for about two and a half hours I was hungry because I did not eat I was in a rush I didn't have any water with me or anything my energy is just depleting at this point point. and I see some of the other actors that got cast throughout the callback and I'm like, okay, Tyra, keep your spirits up, keep your spirits up and all this. So finally, two hours later, it is my turn to go in. I'm the last person to audition, you guys. As I'm walking in, there's this lady that's walking out of the audition room and she says to me, last one to go in, first one to get a call. And I turned around and I said, amen, I received that in the name of Jesus. And I have never felt that so strongly in my life, you guys. So then I walked in and we have Kim Coleman, who is the cast and director we had the creator of the show in there and she asked me do you know Loretta Devine and I was like yes I know Loretta Devine and fun fact you guys for some reason like a few weeks prior to this audition I had been in my bathroom practicing Loretta Devine's voice why I don't know I want to be a voice actress so sometimes I just do voices and I happen to do hers like literally like a week or two before that I'm not saying that I'm great at it at all but your girl was practicing it the creator of the show Meg was like this is what she did she was like we're looking for someone who can play a younger version of Loretta Devine so can you do Loretta Devine's voice my heart drops I'm like my voice is so deep. Loretta's voice is up here. I was like, but you know what? I got this. I said, yeah, sure. And I did it. And I guess they liked it. And your girl got cast. So I walk out of the audition room and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Your girl got a deep voice. I don't know if I got this. But right after that, one of my friends was living with me at the time. And we went out to celebrate because I got cast in the commercial. I was so excited. I really wasn't thinking about family reunion. I really wanted to get it because I was like, I want to have a 100% booking rate with my agent so they can keep sending me on auditions. So we go to this bar and we just have drinks and like it's happy hour. We have drinks and stuff. And I get a call from my agent. And he was like, you are something else. And I was like, what? And he was like, you booked family reunion. I lost it. I was so excited. So I still didn't know that it was for Netflix until I got my contract. That's when I found out that it was a Netflix original. And I was just like, wow, I'm really going to be on Netflix. And I'm so excited. So you guys, I am a part of the Netflix family. I am playing young Loretta Devine. Young Amelia is my name. I am in season one, episode nine, Remember Black Elvis, if you guys wanna check that out. And we have also been renewed for season two and your girl will be making appearances in season two. I just wanted to share with you guys the beginning of my acting journey. I can't wait to look back on this video in like five, 10 years and see where I am at that point and just come back to this point and say, wow, like this is really where I started. And we already started filming season two and I did vlog that. So one 
once season two comes out, I will be posting a week in the life of a working actor if you guys would like to see that. Let me know down below. Let me know if you guys would like to see anything else that I do as an actress. But yes, I am on Netflix and I am so blessed and so happy and I cannot wait to see what else God has in store for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and if you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications are on so you can get all of the alerts anytime your girl posts any new content. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as possible. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.